YouTube, how's it going? In today's tutorial, we're going to be going over this before, right, and after slider method that you can use in your Behance projects to kind of enhance it and make it just a little bit better. Um, it's definitely not a necessity in your project, but it is a nice addition. So as you can see here with mine, I just showed the before image and then the after just to show the photo retouching skills. Um, so it's not something nice that your viewer can see um, to see how you improved a certain uh, piece. So first thing you're going to want to do is go to this site, Juxtapose. I will leave the link in the description below. And when you get here, you'll pop up on the screen. You're going to want to click Make a Juxtapose, if I'm not saying it right. I don't know. Uh, you're going to want to go here where you have left and right image. I would put your before image left and then after would be your right image because your viewer is going to look at it from left to right. So you're going to want to go to URL and either either upload um, your image to somewhere that you can get a URL and then paste it in here. Or you can click on the Dropbox, which I think is the easier method. You can upload your pictures to Dropbox and then just simply choose them. So I'm going to do my before image. right? And then we're also going to, in fact, let me show you from the beginning. So this is what it looks like when you come to the screen. So we are going to go to before and after. All right, and you'll see a preview of it down below. I normally turn all these check or ch check all these off. Um, and then you can publish it, and you'll get this link. Uh, you want to go to the embed link. You want to copy this entire link, which Control C, or you can right click and copy. And then go back to your project where you want to put it in. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to delete mine. You're going to want to go to these two arrows that are pointing away from each other. And control V to paste it in. And then simply click embed. And there we have it. Now you can go in here and your viewers, when you publish the project, will be able to interact with this slider. They can see what it looked like before you messed with it and what it looked like after you did. So it's a nice addition for your viewer to kind of get a better grasp of what you actually did to the piece. Um, I think it's something that's going to start trending. It already kind of has. So if you do like the video, go ahead and drop a like. Comment down below what you would want to see next. And a quick shout out to Gio. I'm also going to leave his link in the description. Uh, his video is in Spanish on the same tutorial if you do want to watch that. Um, but he actually taught me how to do this. So shout out to him. And I will see you all in the next one. I appreciate you all watching.